Another crazy day in the world of GameStop. Nothing surprises me about this stock anymore. Everything is just going mental. Uh, Twitter is going crazy with Citadel. Uh, is cheating and lying and scandals. And they're being uh, suppressed on Twitter. Uh, the stock price is going up and down all over the place as we'll go through in a bit. The reverse repo number is eye-wateringly high. We'll get into that. Is it an all-time high? Yes, of course it is. Things are going crazy. And then we have some pals at 4chan who've made a very nice graphic uh, display of what's going on and when you put it like this it just shows how crazy this stock really is so let's have a look at the price today you can see GameStop is currently at $178.69 very nice um, and if we just go into the day chart you can see that is a pretty crazy day uh, almost $20 swings on a $177 stock so start of the day at around about one um, 176 got to lows of 166 just a, an hour after trading and then went on a pretty bullish run uh, to 185 and then had a bit of a drop off to 177 so that is a pretty wild day for just a lazy thursday but let's get into the real meat of this video please give a like helps me out really appreciate it as always guys anyway reverse repo number 1.604 trillion all-time high uh, 92 counterparties which I think is one of the highest we've ever seen as well and if we just look at the chart over the last month you can see that I said we would cross the 1.5 uh, uh, trillion dollar mark soon uh, we didn't cross it soon well we did we crossed it the very next day 1.6 trillion um, if you look at this it's just going up and up and up and up and up and up and up uh, this is absolutely crazy since March and it looks like it's got no sign of slowing to be perfectly honest uh, this has broke 1.6 trillion. We're going to be hitting 2 trillion soon, and that is absolutely crazy. Um, so that is enough on the reverse repo number. We'll be showing that every day it comes out because it's an interesting follow. Uh, I wish GameStop's, uh, GameStop's uh, stock price went up like this number, but it will in the future, and that's the key point. So this is from our pals at 4chan. This is a nice... Uh, that's been shared on Super Stonk as well, and I just thought I'd bring it to you. It's really cool and really shows that... Um, the high frequency short in hedge funds and just shows how crazy the sort of manipulation on the stock has been. So here's how much, sorry. So how much is the GME true float anyway? For, for perspective, here are some other charts for other well-known symbols starting from 2018-0101. Each red line signifies that the entire float has been traded at that point. So I just have a little scroll down. The first one is Apple. You can see here that this is uh, the first of the first 2018 and from day zero it took 120 days for the entire flow to be traded and you can see that these days are quite um, quite similar so it was twice in a year and then the lines are pretty far apart once the stock price went up and down you can see that the the uh, the shortened a lot more trades were happening and it's trading and then when it's been on this sort of recent time it was a longer trade but you can see that all the lines are pretty reasonable 120 days 120 days 130 days um yeah so you can see here i can't really do the maths quick on my head 170 days but all pretty pretty damn similar uh berkshire hathaway from 2018 to now you can see that the entire float was traded once here and then has not hit that point again uh, Facebook from 2018, very, very similar lines, increasing, decreasing, but all pretty similar. Uh, then we have Microsoft. Stock price has gone, what, almost trebled, and the lines have been pretty consistent once again. 240 days, then 190 days, and 180 days, I think, if that's the maths correctly. And you can see it's probably coming up again. Uh, CMG, which I believe is Chipotle, uh, pretty quick this one um a lot of trading on this stock uh and then we've got atv which is activision sorry atvi which is activision blizzard you know that's uh chipotle pretty crazy compared to the stocks we just have a quick look and if we go to the final one there is gamestop look at that look how much the float has been traded compared to these other stocks very popular stocks uh meme stocks as well when you've got chipotle uh, and, um, and and Blizzard, and look how much the entire float of GameStop has been traded, bearing in mind that a lot of people are buying GameStop, such as myself, and we are not selling it. The apes are not selling the float, 
but still consistent, 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 but rapid, 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 rapid. And then look at the amount of lines here. It's 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 crazy, but it's it's a beautiful way to describe the chart and to show that this stock is very, very different to every other stock on the market. But I think this is a beautiful representation of of how of, well just to show how, how much it's done you compare to all these other stocks that nothing looks close uh, um chipotle one two three i'm not going to count them say it's 20 times i'm, I'm definitely not going to count that that is absolutely crazy and especially if you look from here now if apes have been holding from pre the initial short squeeze and have held at this point but even then the 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 amount of times that the entire float is traded allegedly i believe the float is a uh, 60 uh, 64 million shares and we still have this amount of crazy movement uh in in since the since the squeeze and there's a little picture to show that things are going to be good which they do look like it's going to be good this is definitely um when put it down in sort of very simple means and breaking it down it shows just how how much this stock is being shorted, how much it's being bought, how many apes are buying the stock, and yet the price, if we go back to it, no, oh, sorry about that. It's uh, I haven't been on my computer for a few days and I've forgotten how my shortcuts, and the price is going down, 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 down to 177. But, as always, if we actually look, I've got too many lines on this chart, I'm going to gonna have to fix them. We are still on the up from pre-initial squeeze and that is what we want to see we want to see the floor keep on rising i'm going to add that in what color the floor is lava so we'll do it as red this is what we want to see and it's keep on going up and up and up if we do a log graph as well uh, let me just do the last three months and then zoom out a little bit and out, out a little bit that's from january going up and up and up and up and up and up we just want to see the stock increasing. The shorting hedge funds will have the pressure on them. They can't keep on doing short attacks. It's going to cost them too much money to get a stock down from $185 a share to $177. And what is that really accommodating? Well, more apes are buying the stock. More uh, retail investors are buying the stock. And despite probably hit pieces from our friends at Motley Fool. In fact, let's just do that out of interest. Uh, let's just type in GME and just go on the news and see what's happening. News. Oh, that's good. We can see that uh, Robin Hood strikes back. That was what we were talking about yesterday. Um, oh, good job, Investor Place. These are the most recent ones. It seems that it hasn't done the more recent... Uh, where, how do you spell Motley Fool? There you go. Why GameStop is falling today. Why it's slumped today. Oh, and obviously they play both sides of the argument as well. I mean, one week ago, you got to hedge your bets. Why GameStop dropped. Rising. Dropping. Duh, 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 duh. So all over the place um but these are the wings of the short and hedge funds these probably are paid very well to uh keep other investors out of the stock because if all the apes keep on buying and then more retail investors buy then the hedge funds cannot keep on kicking the can down the road they will get squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and they will not be able to close their positions or be able to um continue and then the moors will happen so interesting stock interesting graphs Reverse repo is absolutely crazy and the stock price is up a percent on the day. So that's good news on the whole. Right guys, thanks for watching. Please give a like and I'll catch you guys next time.